With each new generation, Sony's FX series has consistently raised the bar in the compact cinema camera market. The original Sony FX3, released in 2021, won widespread acclaim for its impressive full-frame sensor and its unique ability to bridge the divide between mirrorless and dedicated cinema cameras. Its compact, lightweight form factor made it a top choice among solo shooters, run-and-gun filmmakers, and content creators seeking cinematic quality without the bulk of traditional cinema rigs. Now, nearly three years later, the excitement is mounting once again, as rumors surrounding its successor, the Sony FX3 II, continue to gain momentum. Expectations are high, and the filmmaking community is eager to see how Sony will evolve this already successful formula. The upcoming Sony FX3 II is rumored to retain the core principles that made the original FX3 such a hit – portability, professional-grade features, and cinematic image quality. However, this next-generation model is expected to bring a host of refinements that reflect user feedback, technological advancements, and the growing demands of today's creators. Among the anticipated upgrades are significant ergonomic improvements, including a redesigned button layout and enhanced build quality. The FX3 II will likely maintain its modular approach, keeping the popular top handle mounting system, but it's said to offer better customization options with an optional electronic viewfinder. This move allows shooters to adapt their setups depending on the project at hand, whether handheld, gimbal-based, or rigged for studio work. From a design standpoint, the Sony FX3 II is expected to continue using an all-magnesium alloy body, which has proven both durable and lightweight. Enhanced weather sealing is also rumored, making it a reliable companion for filmmakers working in unpredictable environments. Notably, Sony seems to be doubling down on thermal performance as well. Although the FX3 already featured active cooling, the FX3 II is expected to introduce an improved fanless thermal design, possibly incorporating advanced heat dissipation solutions that extend recording times without adding bulk or noise. At the heart of the Sony FX3 II lies what could be its most groundbreaking feature, a new 12.9-megapixel full-frame global shutter sensor. If this rumor proves true, it would mark a major leap forward in image capture technology. Unlike traditional rolling shutter sensors, which are prone to artifacts like skewing and wobble when filming fast motion or panning, a global shutter reads the entire frame at once, completely eliminating those distortions. This innovation alone could make the FX3 II a go-to camera for sports cinematography, action filmmaking, drone videography, and any scenario where motion fidelity is critical. The rumored global shutter sensor would also bring new capabilities in high-speed recording. The Sony FX3 II is expected to shoot 4K video at up to 180 frames per second without any crop, allowing filmmakers to achieve ultra-smooth slow motion while preserving the full-frame aesthetic. Additionally, there are whispers of 6K and possibly even 8K recording options, signaling that Sony aims to push the FX3 II to the forefront of resolution and clarity in the compact cinema category. These upgrades would place the camera in direct competition with models far above its weight class, both in price and in size. Of course, advanced features require robust support systems. The FX3 II is rumored to include dual CF Express Type-A card slots, facilitating ultra-fast data recording and redundant backup during critical shoots. With higher resolution and frame rates come increased processing demands, and Sony appears to be addressing this with new heat management technologies designed to prevent thermal throttling. Extended recording and high-performance modes would allow the FX3 II to excel in professional productions where reliability is non-negotiable. One of the more technical trade-offs associated with the new global shutter sensor is a likely increase in the camera's base ISO. Rumors suggest a starting point of ISO 800, which is higher than traditional rolling shutter sensors. However, Sony may offset this with dual-gain architecture, which could boost the FX32's performance in low-light environments. Combined with Sony's ever-evolving color science, the camera is expected to deliver impressive dynamic range, likely exceeding 14 stops, and exceptional image quality across a variety of lighting conditions. Speaking of color, the FX3 second of may also benefit from an updated implementation of Sony's S-Cinetone profile, widely praised for its natural skin tones and cinematic look. New picture profiles and refinements to internal processing could further streamline post-production workflows, giving creators more flexibility straight out of the camera. For many, these upgrades in image processing and color handling could be just as valuable as the hardware improvements. Despite its promising spec sheet, the Sony FX3 II isn't without potential drawbacks. The rumored price tag, estimated to land between $4,000 and $4,500, may be a hurdle for independent filmmakers and smaller production teams. 
This is a noticeable jump from the original FX3, which launched at $3,999. Whether the FX3 II justifies this premium will depend on how well Sony executes on its ambitious feature set. Another point of contention could be the decision to offer the electronic viewfinder as a separate, optional accessory. While this supports modularity and allows users to customize their rigs, some filmmakers may find it inconvenient or feel that a built-in EVF would be more practical for handheld or documentary-style shooting. These design decisions will likely shape how the FX3 II is received across different user groups, from solo content creators to large-scale production crews. The increased base ISO might also prove limiting in certain scenarios, particularly for cinematographers who often shoot in extremely low light conditions. However, if Sony successfully implements advanced noise reduction and dynamic range technologies, this limitation could be mitigated, especially when paired with fast lenses and well-managed lighting setups. As for the release window, current speculation points toward late 2024 or early 2025. This timeline aligns with Sony's previous launch cycles and could coincide with major industry events like Sony's Creative Space in New York, which has historically served as a launchpad for new cinema technology. Should the FX3 II debut at such a venue, it's likely to generate significant industry buzz and solidify Sony's dominance in the professional video space. Even with global supply chain challenges and ongoing semiconductor shortages, Sony seems determined to deliver a high-performance tool that meets the growing demands of modern filmmakers. If the FX3 II lives up to its rumored capabilities, it could reinforce Sony's leadership in the hybrid cinema space, while potentially setting new standards for what creators expect from a compact professional camera. Strategically, Sony may keep the original FX3 in the lineup as a more budget-friendly alternative, creating a two-tiered system that caters to a wider range of users. This would allow the FX3 II to sit confidently at the top of the compact cinema food chain, while still offering entry points for those not ready to invest in its most advanced features. In terms of market impact, the Sony FX3 II could pose a serious challenge to competing models from Canon, Panasonic, and Blackmagic. Its rumored combination of a global shutter, high frame rates, and professional workflows positions it as a truly future-forward offering. And if Sony manages to integrate these features without compromising usability, the FX3 II might not only redefine the FX lineup, it could reshape the entire compact cinema segment. For now, all eyes are on Sony as the industry awaits an official announcement. The excitement surrounding the Sony FX3 II is palpable, fueled by both high expectations and genuine enthusiasm for innovation. Whether you're a seasoned cinematographer, a content creator stepping up your production quality, or a filmmaker looking for the ultimate blend of performance and portability, the FX3 II promises to deliver a compelling tool for modern storytelling. So, are you looking forward to the Sony FX3 II? Which rumored features are you most excited about? And what would make this camera a must-buy for your own creative work? Let us know your thoughts, and be sure to stay tuned as we cover all the latest developments around the FX3 II and other groundbreaking releases in the world of digital cinema.